And you guys, so I just got finished um, cleansing my hair, but let me tell you something. The deep conditioner I use, I'm pretty sure I have a DIY video on this, <sighs> mixing cholesterol with this, for me personally, you may not be able to handle this, mixing cholesterol with this replenishing conditioner, you would think putting these together, you shouldn't, you know, it's like Israelites and Palestines coming together, you, you may not know it's going to work out, but this worked out perfectly. And I also use one tablespoon of the Great Beauty Channel Hydrolyte Sweet Protein. Actually, I do think I have a video on this. I have several videos that I will be linking below. So I'm going to go ahead. I've already started adding um, the Lotta Body Moisture Milk Curl and Style Milk. Now, I've used this before. Actually, the first time I got this was in a gift bag for a hair show I was a part of here. I'm just going to do one section because I've already started applying it to my hair. My hair is soaking wet. I've been using the 22nd Woman Shampoo Bar to cleanse my hair. And um, yeah, so I already have some of the leave-in up here. You can still see some of it. I'm just going to show you guys what the consistency is, those of you who are not aware of what it looks like. So it has this pump and the pump used to give me problems. I should say this, the more you use it, later on it's going to give you some problems, but I do like the way it comes out. Okay. And this is what it looks like. It's a very, very creamy consistency. It has a light coconut smell. Working from root to end, smoothing that in. Now, I'm going to be blowing out my hair. I know, twice in a few weeks, actually. Um, I blew up my hair last month, and I normally don't do this. What I'm going to do now is allow my hair to air dry for about one to two hours. I'm going to be applying the Apogee Reconstructor Green Tea Spray. You guys have seen me use that spray before. It uses a little bit of grapeseed oil as my heat protectant. And I'm going to blow out my hair. You won't see me blowing out my hair, but I will come back on cam um, with it all blown out, okay? So here is my hair all blown out. I only use a little bit of grapeseed oil as my heat protectant. Now I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair so that it will be easier to actually style and set with the flexi rods. I'm going to be using just a little bit of the uh, leave-in styler, excuse me, the milk itself, about one to two squirts for each large sections, and then one to two pumps of the styling mousse or foamy mousse, excuse me, detangling my hair slightly with the wooden comb and rolling my hair up onto the flexi rod itself. Now I ran out of these y'all. I used every flexi rod that I have which is about 20 of them. I had to end up using large or medium sized perm rods which is okay because depending on how you roll the hair onto the flexi rod or perm rod would depend on what type of look you're going to get. I did not want any type of spirals. Um, instead, I wanted to have a roller set look, which is why I'm rolling my hair instead of spiraling the hair around the rod itself, if that makes sense. And I do have a video on how I did that. So, okay, I'm all done. Going to fall asleep, at least try. Let me tell you something. This was not fun. I had a very hard time sleeping in these flexi rods to the point to where I ended up taking out quite a few of the perm rods on one side. I mean, I was literally tossing and turning until 1 p.m. So I took out about five of them and set my hair in pin curls. You can see them on the side there. You see that? Yeah, about four to five pin curls that I ended up doing in the middle of the night. So all I'm going to do is take down the flexi rods, use a little bit of grapeseed oil. I'm going to show you the back here in a second so that you can see. And my hair is set in larger sections because again, I'm looking for volume, fluffy, bouncy curls, okay? A little bit of grapeseed oil to help um, separate my hair. I'm only going to separate one or two times, not a lot. And uh, yeah. I forgot a flexi rod. Not hard to do with all this hair, honey. So yes, just taking that last one down and using just a little bit of hair oil. If I wanted a more slicker look, okay, I know that I would have to use a lot more product than I used before. 
I will possibly have to use some type of gel or a, a different type of styler. The styler that the Lottie Body has is great for as a leave-in styler, but for setting a um, style such as a flexi rod or perm rod, not so much. Um, and if you do, we probably have to use a lot more than what I was using. So, yes, continuing to separate, and I'm going to see how I can style all this hair, y'all. very beautiful bouncy curls and honestly I could have left it this way but it's a bit humid outside and I felt like it was too heavy in the front if that makes sense so I ended up putting on uh, some of it up and a little pompadour actually a big pompadour with about two to three bobby pins and that is it you guys no I did not maintain this look because again I did not have a lot of hold, hold excuse me but I was absolutely okay with that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video take care bye <laughs>